I started my 3D printed R2D2 project last year and I finished the dome and the body frame at that point and then I decided to take some time off for the winter because I work in the garage here and we get a lot of snow and it gets quite cold and it just wasn't very conducive to doing painting and, and other things like that in the garage so uh, I decided to wait until springtime to restart although if uh, the truth be told it took me a little bit longer than expected to get started for several reasons one is this yeah I had a catastrophic printer failure and to be fair I had used that printer a lot over 4,000 hours of printing time on it and it was basically worn out but the good people at Dremel when I talked to them about it uh, actually were very helpful and they allowed me to uh, buy a refurbished printer for quite a small price and uh, as a replacement and it even has a warranty and even you know my, my printer was out of warranty at that point so I was I was quite happy with um, the way they handled it and now I'm back up printing the other issue was that Mr. Badley who was designing all of these 3D models for printing had in the meantime when I was on my break uh, come up with basically revised versions of everything that were significantly improved in some cases and the body in particular looked much better the previous body had been designed kind of based on bodies that, that people have made to, to to make using traditional methods instead of 3d printing so you know something you might be able to cut out of plywood or something like that it is not the best thing to be using as the base for a 3d printable r2d2 so uh, I was faced with a bit of a decision should I continue on with the version that I had been making or start over since I had quite a bit of trouble with the body frame as you may recall with warping and things like that and getting it to fit together properly I decided I would just uh, start over especially because I've now mostly solved the warping issue which I will probably talk about in a, in a uh, subsequent video so yeah I restarted I'm gonna scrap the body frame I'm keeping the dome even though he has done a new dome as well I there's no real need for me to redo that this uh, what you see here is the version 2 body that I've done just in its entirety in the last probably two months it has uh, quite a few interesting features like opening panels and doors and so right here we have a panel it's not on the hinges yet as you can see but it opens up to reveal some stuff inside we have um, arms which open up I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave them opening or not you know it depends we'll see uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things. It looks more accurate, I think, than the previous one as well. So, I'm happy that I've gone with that. I think I would have had trouble trying to make everything fit on the previous version. What this means is that I've been spending a lot of time working on this instead of working on videos because I have a limited amount of time, actually, until it gets cold again. It may not seem like it in the middle of summer here, but uh, this is a pretty major project and I don't want to have it go over another winter time. So if I can at all do it, I will finish this before it gets cold this year. That means a lot of printing, a lot of printing, and a lot of sanding, gluing, and painting, of course. The painting is not such a major thing, but I do need it to be warm enough to be able to do it. Uh, you can see, in addition to the body, I have two legs here. And uh, one of these is actually the previous version leg, and that's the uh, the one on the left, which is gray, and that means it's all primed. It's been sanded, primed, it's ready for paint, basically. It hasn't been entirely glued together yet. The one on the right is basically fresh off the printer, and is the second version. It will obviously require some finishing work. But yeah, this is this is where I am, and uh, it's coming along pretty well. I mean, there's there's always issues that you run into, but I'm pretty happy with where I am right now. Now, the body here, I should mention, a lot of the things like that door that fell off are not actually attached to the body. They're just in there for the purposes of this video, basically, to show you what I have done. Uh, a lot of the things like the center vents will be coming out and being finished, and 
then painted and then finally assembled once they're all done. So I will be coming out with uh, proper videos about this, I hope, in the somewhat near future. It is difficult to do. I mean, I don't know how other people will do all of this, frankly, but it's difficult enough for me to find the time and the energy to do this project as it is without having to document everything. But I do want to document it. I, I'm doing my best. Uh, I also have uh, videos, of course, coming up about Lego-related things, which are still in the works. Don't worry. And I, I would say, probably, though, in terms of just a channel update, that I'm going to be doing less of the action figure review type videos, uh, Black Series and so forth. I think, quite frankly, that there are a lot of people who can do it better and faster than I can. And I'm a little bit getting away from collecting all of those as well, at least at the moment. I did pick up some of the recent releases, but I haven't done any videos about them, and I'm not sure if I will. I think I'm going to try and uh, focus a little bit more on the 3D printing and on the, uh, the Java-related videos, which is which, you know, that's sort of what the, the channel's all about, so hopefully that's okay with you. And uh, that's about all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more updates about this and other projects.